Let's see how we had written our full adder Verilog code previously. You can see that all of the five logic gates that are seen in the circuit were defined in our Verilog design code. You can see that we have XOR and XOR and and the final OR right here. Now we will see how to use half adders as single modules and implement them in our design code. Let's assume that we don't know what are inside these HA1 and HA2 boxes. With this view, we can write our full adder code as the following. We are going to define the full add module and we are going to give the ports inside the brackets. Then we define the outputs as capital S and capital C inputs as x y and z and in between we have our wires which are s1 c1 and c2 that can be seen there and here we are instantiating two modules half head module first one having the outputs of s1 and c1 and inputs of x and y and the second one having the outputs of capital s c2 and inputs as s1 and z and finally we again have our or gate. However, we should also define what's going on inside the half adders. You can see that here we are defining the half add module, which has outputs of S and C and inputs of A and B, which are defined right here. And we say that there is an XOR gate and an AND gate inside this half add. The XOR gate has the output of S and inputs of A and B. And the AND gate has the C output and again has the inputs of A and B. And we end our module. Now let's use this code in Vivado Design Suite and cross check our design with the elaborated design property. Here you can see that we have written our design code. We have the same inputs that we had in the presentation. We have our full add module and also we have our half add module which are instantiated in the full add module as half add HA1 and half add HA2. I've already run synthesis, so we can go directly to RTL analysis and click on schematics. And here you can see our full adder module. If we click on these plus signs in the HA1 and HA2, we can see the details of them. And here we can cross check with our initial design. Here we have our HA1 and in our design we have HA1. Actually it's a bit upside down. You see the AND gate above and the XOR gate below. And same in HA2 as well. But our connections are totally fine. You can see that we have the inputs X, Y, and Z. And in between, the carry is going from the HA1 to our OR. And also, our sum output is obtained from the XOR of HA2. So all the inputs, outputs, and the wires are the same. 